Welcome once again to the Snow Angel Fitness Series, Volume 3, Get Lean. This is the arm shoulder workout today. I've got my athletes here with me, Todd, Deidre, and Bruce today. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and do a warm up. So, just one basic set of jumping jacks. Let's go ahead and get started. Ready? And begin. Full range of motion here. Feet going out as your arms go up. Make sure your hands touch overhead. This is just designed as a warm up, so there's no speed involved. Take your time, just get a nice, easy warm up here. We've got 10 more seconds left before we get started. Big, deep breaths here. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we're going to start off with a bang here with an exploding push up. So assume your push up position on the mat. You're going to start with your hands on the outside of the mat. If you don't have a mat, just your hands nice and wide. You're going to jump off the ground, leaving the air, jump into an interior position underneath your shoulders, and then go back and forth, vice versa. Ready? And begin. Exhale as you push. Make sure, just like the squat jumps and some of our other workouts here, you land with your elbows bent. Absorb the impact with your elbows here. Stomach nice and tight. Keep your breathing going. Excellent. Eight seconds here. And you're welcome to either do this the advanced version on your knees or your toes. Real quick break. We've got one more set. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. Stomach nice and tight. Hands coming in and out. Keep your focus here and make sure that you bend those elbows on the way down. Stomach tight. Try not to try to eliminate your back from swaying. Eight seconds here. Okay, we got three, two, one. Take a break. Okay, our next exercise is a compound movement, a one-arm row with the tricep kickback. So gather your stability ball, get a dumbbell. We're going to get rolling here. Okay, you're going to use the stability ball for balance. So you lean one knee, one hand on the ball. Put your other foot a little bit wider than the shoulder width for stability. We're going to start with a one-arm row. Ready? And begin. Squeeze that shoulder blade and kick straight back. Remember, when you come up here, keep the elbow the height of your back and then just pivot straight back from the elbow. Exhale as you pull. Excellent. Squeeze that shoulder blade, hold the elbow, and extend straight back. Okay, real quick break. We're going to switch to the other side. Same exercise. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. And it's real important here on this exercise as well. You've got to keep your back nice and flat here. You don't want to round your back on this one. Stomach's nice and tight. Back is nice and rigid. Excellent. We've got 12 seconds left. Back nice and flat. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, you can let your stability ball go. We're going to do a front shoulder press next. You got both dumbbells up. This is standing. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. Palms facing each other. Push your rear end back. You're in your power position. I want you to start in front of your face at chin level and push up overhead. In front of the face, overhead. Stomach's nice and tight. Excellent. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Okay, real quick break. One set down, one to go. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. Stomach nice and tight. Focus on the stability of your core here. So your hips have to be pushed backwards, your center of gravity on your heels with your stomach nice and tight. Exhale every single repetition. And try not to let your elbows flare out to the sides. Keep them shoulder width apart. Excellent. You guys got six seconds left. And take a break. Okay. Our next exercise is a concentration curl, but we're going to use a stability ball for this exercise. You've got both arms out front, so grab your dumbbells and let's get ready. Okay, you're balancing on your knees. Ready? 
and begin. So keep your wrist curled in just a little bit. Extend your elbows all the way straight. Pivot the elbow, come straight back up. You don't need to touch your shoulders on the way up. Just come up just above 90 degree angle and right back straight. And remember, your center of gravity is into your knees now. So with your knees on the floor, the rest of your core here should be stabilized on the ball. So the only thing moving are your arms. Real quick break. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. Nice and easy. Big, deep breaths. Exhale as you come up. Inhale on the way down. Stomach nice and tight. Keep that center of gravity on your feet and your knees. Excellent. Stay focused here. We've got three seconds. I'm trying to isolate the bicep here. Okay, let your stability ball go. Our next exercise is a lateral raise, but we're gonna add a twist to that. I want your thumbs to be downward in this motion. So you're gonna come straight up with your thumbs pointing at the floor. So nice, a little bit lighter weight than you, what you would normally use for a lateral raise. Here we go, ready? And begin. Just like anything else now, your knees bent, hips behind you. Let those pinkies should be the highest point of this exercise. Excellent. Good job, guys. Keep those thumbs pointing down. And we're in that power position, remember, so your hips are behind you. Everything is stabilized. The only thing moving should be your arms. Okay, quick break. And one more time. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. Now, you've got two versions here. You can keep your arms completely locked out straight, or you can bend your elbows a little bit, especially if you have issues with tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, we recommend you bend the elbows just a little bit. Keep those thumbs pointing down, though. That's the key. Thumbs pointing down will isolate your trapezius muscle up here at the base of your neck and your shoulders. Excellent. We've got two seconds. Perfect. Okay, the next exercise is a lying tricep extension, but we're going to do it from the Swiss ball. So you're going to be laying on the Swiss ball with your hips up in the air. Here we go. Ready? And begin. So now your hips are up, your stomach's nice and tight, your center of gravity's on your heels and your shoulders here. You bend the elbows, lower the weight right over the top of your head, and then extend that elbow straight. It's very important that your upper arm from your elbow to your shoulder does not move. Just your forearm here. You've got six seconds. Stomach's nice and tight. Make sure you get way over the top of your head. You don't want to drop these down towards your forehead. Okay, real quick break. Let that heart rate come down just a little bit. Okay, set number two, here we go. Ready, and begin. Now it's crucial that you have a straight line here. From your shoulders to your knees should be completely straight. You don't want your hips dropped down towards the floor. That'll help you with your stability while you're on this ball. Exhale every time you lift. Excellent. Stay focused here. Three seconds. Okay. Let's take a little break. We've got side raise next time, but you're going to do this from a one-arm plank position. So grab a little lighter weight than what you would normally use. We're going to do this one arm at a time. So assume your position down on the floor. Legs are on top of each other. One arm underneath your shoulder. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And begin. Arm up top here. Just lift straight up over your shoulder and right back down. Keep that stomach nice and tight. And be careful when you're coming up on this movement, you don't want to come above your shoulder towards your head. Just stop when you get over the top of your shoulder and that's it. Okay, you've got four seconds. Hips are off the ground, legs are straight. That's perfect. Okay, real quick break. Other side. All right, here we go. Ready? And begin. Stomach nice and tight. Lift straight up over the shoulder, right back down. Nice and easy. Excellent, guys. Keep that stomach tight. Here we go. Legs are nice and straight. You should be feeling your deltoids here while you're doing this exercise. And probably a little bit of your obliques from just holding yourself up. 
You've got four seconds left. Okay, real quick break. We're gonna do a bicep curl next on the stability ball. So get your stability balls again. You've got two dumbbells this time. You're gonna be in a seated position, so your rear end is gonna be a little bit closer to the floor. So all I need now is the middle of your back and your shoulder blades on that ball. Arms out to the sides. Ready? And go. So your hips should be a little bit lower than your shoulders, so you're in somewhat of an incline position on this exercise. Your elbows can go ahead and hit the ball, that's not a problem, and you're just up and down. Flex and extend at the elbow. Exhale every time you come up, inhale on the way down. Five seconds. Excellent. Take a little break. One down, one to go. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Go. Exhale on the way up. Keep your wrist curled in just a little bit. That'll accentuate that movement. So when you drop all the way down here, don't let your wrist drop back out with it. Keep those wrists curled up. Excellent. Stomach's nice and tight. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Three, two, one, perfect. Okay, keep those same dumbbells. Go right to the seated position on the, on the ball here. We're gonna do a seated tricep extension overhead. So you got both dumbbells together. Here we go. Ready? And begin. So same thing as the other, the lying tricep extension. This is the seated version. You want from your elbow to your shoulder to be stabilized here. There's, the only movement should be in your forearms. And if you're looking at it from the front aspect, Make sure that your elbows stay the width of your hips, or width of your shoulders, I'm sorry there. Make sure your elbows do not bow out. Three seconds. Real quick break. Set number one down, one to go. Okay, here we go, ready? And begin. Deep breath on the way down, exhale on the way up. Now make sure your stomach's nice and tight as well. You're, if not, you're going to over accentuate your low back here and start feeling in your low back. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Excellent. Stay focused here. Stay with it. Okay, our next exercise is a standing bicep curl, but this is going to be a rotational curl. So it's a little bit different than the traditional bicep curl. A little bit lighter weight than usual. Your palms are gonna start facing away from you. So the top of your hand should face your thighs. Here we go, ready? And begin. Just like anything else though, you're in the power position. Hips behind you, knees bent. As soon as you clear your thighs, you're rotating up and you rotate, continue that rotation all the way out. It's a complete rotation at the elbow only. What we don't want to see is that your elbow's bowing out and rotating in that way. Keep your elbows stabilized while you're doing this movement. Okay, real quick break. One more time. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready and begin. Stomach nice and tight. Elbows are out front. Good rotation. Excellent. Okay, we've got 12 seconds left. Make sure your elbows stay the width of your shoulders here. Three. Okay, here we go. Our last exercise in this cycle is called the arm circle. This is basically a stretching exercise to loosen up your arms before we get started with the second cycle. So here we go, ready and begin. Real tall, humongous circles. The largest circle you can make with your arms. We're gonna go forward first, and then the second set, we're gonna go backwards. This is just designed to release that tension in your shoulders and your arms so we can start that second cycle. Eight seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Real quick break. Ready, go. Now you're going backwards. Now, it's crucial that you get as far back behind you just as much as you are forward. So you're going to cross in front, get as far back behind your back as you can. Loosen up those shoulders. Eight 
Eight seconds left. Good job, guys. Get them loosened up. Okay, that completes our first cycle here. We're going to take a little bit of a break here. Loosen up those arms. We just I know we just stretched them out a little bit, but let them loosen up. Let your heart rate come down, and we're going to start from scratch again. Our first one's going to be the exploding push-up. So real quickly, walk around, stretch your out. You may want to go behind your head with your triceps or stretch out your shoulders across the front. Take your time. Okay, time's up. Okay, exploding push-up. Here we go. So I want you to start wide now on this one. You're going to work your way back in towards the midline, in, in on the inside of the mat. Ready? And begin. If you need to go to your knees on this one, don't worry about it. Just get through the workout. Form is always more important than your ego. So stay with it. Make sure your stomach's nice and tight. You want to try to eliminate as much of the sway back as possible. Excellent. Stay focused, guys. Looks good. There it is. One down, one to go. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready and begin. Stomach nice and tight. Big deep breaths. Exhale as you lift. Inhale on the way down. Every single repetition. Come on, stay with me. We're almost there. You got five seconds. Two, one, excellent. Okay, the next exercise is the one arm row with the kickback, the combo where you're stabilizing on the ball. Here we go. Two sets, nice comfortable weight. Here we go, ready? One knee into the ball for stability, the other foot's out to the side, nice and wide for st stability. Ready, and go. Row, kick back. Now don't worry about getting real high with your elbow. Come even with your back and straight back. Excellent, it's not a contest to see how high you can get with that elbow. Just get even with your back and then pivot straight back. Squeeze that shoulder blade and pivot. Keep your back nice and flat now. You're gonna start getting fatigue, it's gonna be start become an issue here, so really focus on your form. Okay, one down, one to go. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Ready? And begin. Squeeze that shoulder blade and then kick back. Squeeze the shoulder blade, kick back. Excellent. There you go. Now, once again, this is a compound exercise with two specific movements. So you've got to breathe as much as you can on this. It's going to be a little bit harder to get rhythmic with your breathing. We've got five seconds left. Three. Okay, let your, let your stability ball go. We're going to go back to the front press. So you're going to start in front of your face and go up over your head. So stay a little bit lighter than that first set for this next cycle here so, I, so you can get through it here. We've got two sets. Ready? And go. So in front of your face, straight up overhead. Stop at the chin level, straight up. Stop at chin level, straight up. In front of the face and over your head. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Okay, you've got six seconds left here. In front of the face, straight up. Okay, real quick break. One more time here. Okay, here we go. Knees bent in your power position. Ready, go. Hips behind you, leaning into it just slightly. Just be careful of your form. Fatigue's gonna start to become an issue here, so really focus on what's going on. Keep that breathing going. You've got seven seconds, guys, here. Stay focused. Chin straight up. Excellent. Okay, let's take a little break. You've got the stability ball concentration curl next. So grab your stability ball, get that ready. Both arms are gonna be out front. Okay, here we go. You're balancing on your knees now. Ready? And begin. Now remember with this exercise, be sure to curl your wrist inward, flexing that wrist. 
Keep that flex the whole time all the way down. Don't let your wrist extend back out. Stomach nice and tight. The balance should be on your chest and your knees. And it's very important that you get all the way straight. Don't stop before that. You don't want to hyperextend, but get almost all the way straight, as straight as you can get. Real quick break. One set down, one to go. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. Now remember, if, if you get too far over the front of that ball and you feel like you're going to hit the floor before you get straight, just roll backwards a little bit on that stability ball. Stomach nice and tight here, guys. Stay with me. we got four seconds. Excellent. Okay, our next exercise is the lateral raise with the thumbs down. So you're going to get a much lighter weight than what we had for the bicep curl. Let your stability ball go straight up, shoulder height. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. Knees bent, now hips behind you. Remember that power position. You want to lean into it just a little bit. And remember, it's your option to put your arms straight or bend at the elbow just a little bit. That's completely up to you. And there's no need to go above the shoulder. Stop at shoulder height. Three, two, one, take a break. Real quick break, one set down, one set to go. Okay, here we go, ready? And begin. Stomach nice and tight. Focus on your form issues here. Knees bent, hips behind you, and you're leaning into it slightly. Now counteract for your fatigue factor here as well. Really focus. You've got 10 seconds left. Okay, three, two, one. Excellent, guys. Okay, we've got lying tricep extension next. This is going to be done laying on your stability ball again. Two dumbbells. Okay, here we go. Stomach nice and tight, hips are up. Center of gravity is on your heels and shoulders. Ready, and begin. Just pivoting at the elbow, lock those elbows straight out. Drop the weight way over the top of your head. Make sure you don't go over the top of your forehead. I want you to get above your head. Excellent. Stomach's nice and tight, hips should be up. Three seconds. Okay, take a quick break. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Set number two. Focus on your form here. Ready? And begin. Pivoting at the elbow, extending straight up. Stay focused on your stomach to help support your back here. Lock those elbows out. Every single time, it's crucial that you lock that elbow completely straight out. You don't get full engagement of that tricep until you lock that elbow up. You've got six seconds. Here we go. Excellent. Finish it up. Okay. Now we can let the stability ball go. We're going to do a one arm bridge next with the side raise. So you need a nice light weight. You're going to be laying on your side, one elbow balance. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. Hips up, arm comes up, shoulder height, and then drop back down. Keep those hips up, stay stabilized, look straight ahead and forward. Excellent, go the height of your shoulder and that's it. You wanna be careful that you don't go way up above your head here, just stop at shoulder height only. You've got three seconds left. Excellent, take a little break. One down, one to go. Other side, rotate the other side, both legs on top of each other. Here we go, ready, and begin. Stomach tight, looks great. To you feel your obliques engaging, the obliques that are closest to the floor should be engaging here a little bit. Don't worry about the weights here. It doesn't have to be super heavy weights, just get comfortable with the exercise. Okay, you've got five seconds, here we go. Okay, 
Next exercise is the bicep curl from the seated position on the ball. So you're seated, meaning you're in somewhat of an incline position on this ball. Okay, here we go. Back into the seated position, hips down close to the floor. Here we go, ready and go. And you can let your elbows hit the ball here and come straight up, pivoting forward and back on this exercise. And there's no need to touch your shoulders, just come up where you break that 90 degree angle and then go right back down. And once again, like the other bicep curls, curl that wrist in, keep it curled in, the whole full range of motion here. When you drop those weights down all the way straight, don't let your wrist flop out. Okay, real quick break, we got one more set. Okay, here we go, set number two, ready and begin. Sit, stomach tight, your head and shoulders are gonna be a little bit off the ball. Hips down below your shoulders. Excellent, exhale as you come up, inhale on the way down. Okay, we've got six seconds. Stomach nice and tight. Okay, seated overhead tricep extension is next. So you're gonna be seated on the ball, use the same weight you just had, just roll up into the seated position, both dumbbells overhead. Here we go. Ready and begin. Now the key with this one is to make sure you don't over accentuate your low back. Keep your stomach nice and tight and don't let your elbows here bow out to the sides. Keep them shoulder width. Stay focused, we're almost there. Fatigue's gonna start becoming an issue, once we, like we said before. So really focus on your form here. If you need to drop to a lighter weight, go for it. I'd rather you get through the entire workout than burn out on one or two exercises. Real quick break, jump into set number two. Okay, here we go. Set number two, ready? And begin. Excellent. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Keep those elbows tucked. Try to keep your elbows shoulder width apart as you drop down. Here we go, we've got seven seconds left. Stomach tight, don't over arch your low back. There it is, excellent. Okay, the next exercise is the rotational bicep curl. It's a little bit lighter weight. You're gonna be standing on this one, starting with the top of your hand facing your thighs. Okay, as all our other standing exercises here, you gotta get into that power position. Ready, and begin. Exhale as you lift. Now the key with this one, remember, is don't let your elbows bow out to the sides. All this rotation should be done at the elbow. Keep them shoulder width, the whole range of motion here. The entire range. Got it. Take a real quick break. One more set. Okay, here we go. Ready and begin. Keep those elbows cocked in. Don't let them bow out. Stomach's gotta be nice and tight. Look up and look forward. You don't want your shoulders to start rounding. Stay with it. Don't let your form get sacrificed. Just stay focused on what's going on here. Okay, five seconds. Excellent. Okay, let your dumbbells go down. Our last exercise is the, the arm circle exercise designed to loosen up your sh shoulders and your arms. Here we go. We're gonna go forward first of all. Ready and begin. Large arm circles, as large as you can. It's crucial to get as far back behind you as much as you can. Let's, let's try to flush some of that lactic acid out of your shoulders and arms here that we just pushed in there. Big deep breaths. Four seconds. Okay, real quick break, let's do one more. Okay, set number two. Now we're gonna go backwards with your arms. Ready, go. Excellent. Big deep breaths, get as large as you can with those circles. 
got six seconds left. Okay, great job guys, that's it. Thank you for joining us today for this arm and shoulder workout. I really hope you enjoyed that workout. Check out our other workouts available from the main menu. See you next time. We hope that you enjoyed your workout. For more information about Dale Benedict and the Snow Angel Fitness Series, visit snowangelfitness.com. And for more information about Coach Troy Jacobson's complete library of fitness and training DVDs, camps, and coaching services, visit coachtroy.com or call 1-888-288-0503.